Hey there, it's Robert with BudBells.com, and for today's warm up, it's a uh, snatching warm up. So, what the warm up is designed to do is to get you snatching perfectly. All right, so really work on your form for a snatch. So it's a remedial step to a perfect snatch. Right. So the first one is you're going to get um, a wall. So imagine this is a wall this this way and you're going to back up to it with one bell. And this is to teach you how to um, reach your hips back, get access to your hip crease and um, keep your back from uh, overarching, over uh, extension. Right. So you don't you want to keep this portion of your body in this just like this, this, this quadrant right here. You don't want to open them, split these apart, or crunch them too far over. So if you open them too far up, you see I get some overextension. If I close them, I'm all rounded out. You know, I've got too much um, uh, uh, rounding here. So too much extension, too much flexion, right? So what I want you to do with one arm is you're going to reach back and feel for that, that wall. So my back is, is straight because my stomach is nice and tight. I'm reaching back, I'm just going to do a deadlift with one arm. Reach back into your hips, come back up. You want to succeed at doing this. You don't want to be so close where you just can push your butt up like this. This is not, I'm not going to do a snatch like this. I hope, I hope you are not doing snatches like this. I hope you are doing snatches by reaching your butt back and reaching for that uh, as far back in this um, flexion as you can get. Right? Um, so you're going to do 10 on each side and then step away from the wall and do 10 swings on each side with that same feeling like you're reaching back for the wall. Okay? Then one minute plank. Um, let's do one minute plank on your hands. Packing your shoulders, you can split your feet apart. So this is like you are um, doing a standing plank. Your swing is a standing plank, right? So your shoulders are packed, stomach's tight, you're not overextended or too much flexion in your back, okay? So one minute like that. And then you're going to do uh, one minute, or excuse me, 30 seconds of overhead carries on each side. So this is your uh, lockout position for your snatch. Perfect. If I am not locked out correctly, this is really going to be tough to hold this for 30 seconds. If the bell is too far forward, too far back, off to this side, so I'm going to get nice and grounded, boom, this is my... Um, my lockout position. Nice tight stomach. If you have a partner there, they can give you some tough love. All right, you're going to do 30 seconds on each side. Then you're going to do snatches. For every six seconds, you're going to do a snatch. Set a timer, and you're going to do 10 of them. So that's uh, 10 on one side, and then 10 on the other, which is 60 seconds, right? Here. Snatch and hold. Every six seconds, you're going to do another snatch. Hold. So it doesn't make sense to do snatches at a high rate if you're not getting all the pieces together. If you're not getting the reaching back, and if you're not getting the full extension, the lockout, if you're not getting the, the uh, full body tension um, and keeping yourself together and organized. It doesn't make sense to do a bunch of snatches and uh, be a, a mess because that's just going to lead to injury and it obviously it's bad form. So you're going to do 10 on each side and then one more minute of plank on your forearms. Forearms and toes. Kind of reset your, reset your body, bounce you back out. The workout is five rounds. And um, if you're working with a partner, that's great. You can, your partner is going to do jump rope while you're doing the uh, exercises and then switch. So, the first exercise is um, you're going to practice your clean and then practice your pressing. So, here's your clean, perfect press, or perfect clean, and then alternating press. One, one, back down, clean. One, one. And these are, um, this is a heavy uh, press practice session, so get uh, a heavy weight for you. 
um, that you can succeed at with perfect form. So you want to go a little heavier to um, work on the, the strength aspect. So perfect form, clean, press, press. Your partner's doing some jump rope to keep active, um, keep moving, and then you're going to switch. The next one is um, five heavy get up, sit up to a bridge. So actually I'll do it on this side so you can see it. So you can start from this position every time, okay? So I scoot over a little bit. Okay. Uh, so what I did there, I wasn't aware of my, uh, my situation at the time. You want situational awareness. The pole was too close for me to do this exercise, so I had to move over. Get in a position, because you're going to have a heavy bell over your head, get in a position where you can move without having to move with the bell above your head, right? So I showed you what not to do. So you're going to here, punch a crunch to your forearm, to your hand, high bridge. This, this pole is still too close to me. I, for um, instructional purposes only, I got myself too close to this pole to show you what not to do. All right, so you're going to do five of those on each side while your partner's jump roping. You guys are going to switch, um, switch roles, right, and do five quality rounds. There's your workout. Enjoy, and we'll see you next time.